Hi, welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Um, today, I wanted to take the opportunity to show you uh, to show you how I do name and numbers when, especially when it's a rush, or um, if there's all kinds of different numbers and uh, that have to be matched up to names and such. Um, I had a rush job to do this week, and uh, so what I decided to do, instead of screen printing all the names and numbers, which would have been a lot of work, what you can do is you can actually get them cut in thermofilm. This is a product from Stalls. And uh, what, what you do is, is you can go online and you order it, and it's, it's, a, it's a vinyl heat transfer. So it's very opaque and it's very flexible and it lasts quite a long time. It's really good if you apply it properly. It's a really, really high quality product. So um, it gives you a great way of being able to do team shirts, which a lot of teams you know, will do a simple t-shirt in order to save money, but they want to name a number on the back of it. So you know, like this team, this uh, team is about 20 people. So there are 20 different names and numbers. So to screen print that would take a lot of work, okay? And with the higher price that a name and number shirt can command, uh, you know, you can use these things. This will, this will lower your profit margin slightly, but uh, it's gonna make the job really easy to do. So in a sense, maybe it doesn't lower the profit margin so much because it cuts out a lot of the labor. Um, so it's just one of those things that you have to decide whether you want to do it. And you order them and you get a whole stack. So you have all the teams and they're all here ready to go. It's, it's a plotter, it's cut on a plotter. And then they actually weed it out for you. And then, and then you have the, uh, this little backing. There's a little backing that will peel off. And then you're gonna place this down on the shirt and press it and then you'll have the name and number instantly and I always suggest to screen print the front first because if you press all the numbers and then ruin a screen print it's easier to replace the screen print than it is to replace the name and number so you screen print everything first that way if something happened to one in the screen printing you could uh, you could replace it before you had to go ahead and press your transfer okay so I will uh, cut up close, we'll come in closer here, and um, we'll go ahead and, and give you a shot of, uh, we're gonna only press one because it's an actual job and you have to pay close attention to the size shirt and the name and number and, and you know, make sure that you get that all right. And uh, it's important to note that, that the Stalls product actually, uh, Stalls offers uh, Plastisol screen, custom screen printed Plastisol transfers and they also offer uh, designs that can be done in this thermal film, multicolored designs. They can actually cut it out and plot it out and put it also so that you know you can press it on a shirt and have a multicolored design with this stuff. But it's limited to spot colors because it's solid. A lot of it's solid. Although they do have some patterned material and stuff. It's pretty cool. Stalls is cool. So let's um, let's move in and get a close-up shot and we'll press one of these for you so you can get an idea of how it works. Okay. So here we are, this is a small. So I'm gonna see here if I can load the small because it's always good to load it, like I say, but sometimes if the shirt's too small like this, um, it's gonna be better just to set it on top. That one's too small. And that happens, so. Um, yeah, that's, you know what, I don't want to do that though. I'm not going to do that because then what will happen is, is if I lay this on top of there, it's going to push this here, heat it up, and give it the texture of the, uh, the rubber. Since there's no Teflon there, I'm kind of in a situation where I have to load this. So this is the worst part because the shirt's so small. So we'll do it. Okay, now, you know, name and number, you got to really make sure it's straight. Okay, so here it is here. There's a, uh, t 
zoom in, there's a backing on here, if I can. Okay, so there's a backing. You gotta peel this off. And then you're gonna place your name and number. This is small. These are pretty big names and numbers for small, but they only had a few smalls, so. Okay, so you'll just look at it, line it up. You could use a ruler if you wanted to, but you know, that's pretty much it. Okay, you know, this part is important to be up on the collar pretty nice and straight so that it looks straight. Then you're gonna put your uh, Teflon sheet down or craft paper I have, and I don't even remember the time for this, I'm doing a standard 350 for about 30 seconds. Um, I'm not sure what Stalls recommends. I, I don't remember. I haven't done these in a little while, so I'm just going to see how this works out for me. My temp went down pretty quick. I probably should have preheated it. Okay, I can see it does look pressed into the knit. This is going to be a hot peel. And that's it. Okay, see it's just the clear backing. This is actually sticky. And there it is. It's, it's pressed and done. And it actually looks, you know, the stuff looks pretty similar to a screen print. You want to let it cool before you peel it off. Otherwise, you might, uh, you know, if it's hot and touches itself, it'll ruin it. So you want to peel it off. Let me give you a close-up shot of this. Okay. Here's the finished product. You can see that it's in there. It's pushed into the knit a little bit. It's on there real good. This stuff will last a long time. You know, it's not, um, there's a good shot. You can see the texture. You can even see the texture of the knit. That's how you want it to look. You want it to be pushed into the knit a good amount. You know. And uh, that's about it. Those are Stahl's Thermofilm. I think it's called Player Perfect. And you can find Stahl's online if you ever had to do a job like this. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.